this is Eclipse Freak, and I'm here with my second video on YouTube. And I just want to do uh, a quick uh, little, well, not tutorial, but it's a little customized thing that I that I wanted to do. And uh, I haven't seen anybody do this on YouTube yet, or maybe, you know, haven't looked that well. But I have here the NECA RoboCop. And this is the first one that came out. And it's I love it. It's a it's an amazing figure. It's beautiful, highly detailed. And you know, it's just just exactly like the movie, the original one. It's beautiful, as you can see. But uh to me I'm very uh I'm an artistic person. I like you know, a lot of shadows and everything, so I decided to do a little customization on mine and uh, you can do this with yours too I'm gonna show you the stuff that I use to uh, to do this project and I like uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of Gundam's model kits but I like building them and uh, I have some markers here this is the ones that I use and these are the real touch markers and I bought these order these straight from Japan very good I like them a lot these are the basic colors you can use you can use these for weathering uh, if you want just to touch up stuff and uh, there's also the weathering types which are these ones right here these are very good as you can see they were fifteen dollars and these are especially for weathering but today I'm just gonna be using these three colors and this is the real touch black and the gray and the brown and uh, you're gonna also need uh, some tooth um, some q-tips if you want and uh, what I'm doing here is I'm just putting some shadows on the figure I mean it's amazing I love it but there's a lot of stuff like as you can see like all these panel lines all these lines are all of them there's just you know they're just too dull just I don't know like I like a little shadow detail and uh, what I what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna fill it up with the with the marker as you can see right here all of these lines and every these creases and all these panel lines on the legs perfect so I'm going to show you on the leg. I'm going to give you a little example of how I do it. And you can use any color you want. I mean, if you want to add some extra detail, more like a brown or, or gray, I mean gray and then black. But right now I'm going to use the black color. And these are very, uh, they're not permanent, but they will stay on the figure. And this is what I'm going to do. Make sure you guys can see this very well. There we go. That's a good shot right there. So all I'm doing is just um, filling it in. So if I'm a little quiet, I am... Uh, kind of hard to do this with the camera right in front of you so I'm trying to see as you can see it looks sloppy but you don't have to worry that's where the q-tip will come in I'll show you in a minute so all you gotta do is just with the tip go inside the creases the panel lines the lines and this is usually a technique you use on Gundam model kits I don't know if you guys have ever built any model kits but all you can do is just go in it like that And uh, the good thing I have, this is my third figure, uh, RoboCop NECA, the NECA RoboCop. So this is just kind of like the practice one. You know, I'm trying it out, so I don't have to worry about it. Hopefully it comes out good so I can keep it. But yeah, there you go. You just keep trying, filling in the lines. 
take your time on this, guys. If you ever, if you're gonna do this, just take your time. Make it look really good. All these extra lines and details are just amazing. I'm glad this figure has many. There's more, some more right here. Like I said, don't worry if it comes out sloppy. It probably doesn't even look that good. But you will see. All right. Now I'm going to show you how to do with the Q-tip. So you get the Q-tip. And you can see I've been already doing some. And then you just start wiping it away slowly like this. And as you can see, you can start already seeing all the shadow, all the details, and you can start spreading spreading it around. There you go. So you can see, get in there like that. And you can just start, like if you're an artist, you know what I'm talking about. But you can start like kind of like, you know, going around, like if you were drawing, putting in that shadow. And then you can start, you know, just going around it. And as you can see, I don't know if you can tell the difference, but, but there it is. I'll show you the other side. This is how it looks without anything. And this is how it looks with the black marker. See, it's darker. As you can see the lines are darker. It just looks more gives it more of a detail, more depth in the figure. It just makes it look amazing. The video is not doing justice, but um, what I'm seeing is just see the shadowing on the on the bottom here, under this line right here, all over the figure like this, everywhere. All right, and I'm going to do the chest real quick. Just this is my last shot. I already started doing it right here, but I'm going to do this side so you guys can see. Adjust my light a bit so that way you guys can see. Just go under the chest plate like this. Get in those creases, the lines, color the little chest plate right here. This one's gonna look amazing. I can tell it's screaming for detail. Color in everything inside. And what I like doing is just maybe coloring a little bit. All right. Now let's bring in the Q-tip. I'm going to start right here. You guys can see. There we go. Look how amazing that looks. Now let's do the chest. Adds that dip into it. It's just that shadow. You know, make it more realistic. Like I said, the figure is amazing, but you know, it doesn't have enough shadow in my point. So I'm putting this myself, these shadows. There you go. And if you could tell, but you can see the difference already on the chest. Look at that. That looks pretty damn amazing if you ask me.
And uh, to make it last, to make it stay permanent, what I like to do also, what I like to do also is, this is also another technique you use for Gundam kits. I use this um, Mr. Super Clear Gloss, as you can see. It's uh, by Mr. Hobby. And uh, as you can see, and it's uh, I spread it all over the kid when I'm done. And I mean, Robocop is very shiny and glossy in the movie. So it's just going to give it like a real deep glossy look and it's going to cover all the shadowings that I did. And it's going to make it look very nice, very nice. And I'm going to do the whole body and hopefully I can make another video on, on the finished product. So, yes, uh, hopefully you guys like this video and uh, subscribe. This is my first video and, uh, well, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Thank you.